Welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, I will be discussing about lead code problem number 103, binary tree zigzag level order traversal. What is level order traversal? First of all, what are levels? They are actually very intuitive. Levels are just levels, right? So if you look at this particular picture, 10 is at level 0, 20 and 30 will be at level 1, and similarly, 80, 90, 100 and 110 will be at level 3. But what are these levels? Levels are nothing but how far are they from the root node? For example, how far is 10 from the root node? It is 0, right? So 10 will be at level 0. Similarly, 20, how far is it from the root node? It is just 1. It's far from the root node. So the level will be 1. Similarly, 80, how far is it from the root node or 10? 1 edge, 2 edge, 3 edge, right? So they will be at level 3. Three. So what is level order traversal? Level order traversal, you will be printing at the elements level by level. For example, you will first print the elements in the level 0, that is 10. So after you are done with level 0, you will go to the next level, that is 20, and you will be printing 30. So only after you are done with level 1, then only you will go to the le next level, then you will be printing 40, 50, then you will be printing 60, and then you will be printing 70 then again you will go to level 3 and you will be printing the elements from the left side to the right side okay in every level you have to print the elements from the left side to the right side only after you are done with the this level you have to go to the next level so how do you do this so we use a queue data structure to do this how do we use the queue let me explain for example we will be adding 10 or the root to the queue and we will write a while loop and we will check while the queue is not empty what do we do we remove this element and we print this particular element and we will add its left child and we will add its right child what is it left child the left child is 20 what is the right child the right child is 30 so is the queue empty now the queue is not empty so we will be removing 20 we will be printing the value also then what do we do we add its left child and its right child to this particular queue so we have 40 and we have 50 in the queue now so what is the next step the next step is again we will check if the queue is empty or not is the queue empty the queue is not empty so we will remove this value we will print this value and again we will be adding the left child and the right child that is 60 and 70 respectively so if you look here how beautifully these elements got added right so these elements are also elements in the same order in the next level so once you again do the for the next level the elements from the next level that is level 3 will also get added in the same order why because you are already adding it in the same order and you are also removing it and adding the children elements also in the same order right so that's why we are using q in this particular example so whatever we added first will be removed first and its children will also be added in the same order that's the main reason we'll be using q in this particular example so what is the code for this the code is very simple we'll just write a while loop uh, we create a queue we will add the root element many people actually forget to write this particular statement it's so funny because you are writing all of this and if you don't add anything to the root this whole statement won't even run in the first place so please don't forget to add this the first thing what we'll be doing is we'll be removing it from the uh, queue then we'll be printing it then we'll be adding the left and the right child if they are not null right so this will be for level order traversal in order to print the elements in the level order traversal but is it what they have asked in the problem no right that is not what they have asked you have to return a list of list in this particular problem so let's look at how that is being done so we just have to use one additional step in addition of using the queue what we will be doing we will similarly be adding to the queue but while removing the elements right you remember the size of the queue for example the size is 10 here so we remove it what is the size now the size of the queue is 1 so we just add 10 and 20 and 30 will similarly be added to the queue so now you just don't remove the elements 
you remember the size of the queue what is the size of the queue now the size of the queue is 2 so you remove 20 and you will be adding 40 and 50 respectively but you will again not jump to the while loop because you have to remove 30 also so this both will be removed and it will be added to the added to the queue again that is sorry the children will be added that is 60 and 70 to the queue so 20 and 30 it will be added to the array list so one additional step is that you have to remember the size of the queue what is that additional step for example we will have a new variable that will remember the size of the queue and this is to remember the elements that are present at this particular level for example this will be that we have to return the array of array list right so that is what this is doing that is we will be remembering at each level so what are we doing after that for every element we are just removing the node from the queue and we are just adding the left and the right child but in addition to that we are also adding the result to the array list because that is what is needed in the answer but what is zigzag level order traversal in zigzag level order traversal we just have one additional step that is if the levels are odd number for example in this level one is there right instead of adding 20 and 30 we have to add 30 comma 20 so this order will get reversed so for level 2 it will remain same for even level 40 50 60 70 will remain same but for the next level that is 80 90 100 110 that will not be the order the order will be reverse that is 110 190 and 80 so what is it that we can do we can just keep track of the level if the level is an odd number we will just reverse the entire particular this will be reversed at each level if that is odd so let me jump into the code before jumping into the code actually 99 percent of the viewers haven't subscribed to the channel so if you're enjoying the video and are learning from this video please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel so what is it we are doing we are creating a queue in the first step we are adding the root node then we are cre creating the result this is the entire result that is the accumulation of all the array list at every level and this will be the entire result i am just creating the sub result outside because i don't want to create every time within the loop then we will keep a track of the level so what is it that we are doing while the queue is not empty remember this we have to keep the size of the queue remember we cannot directly put this queue dot size in this for loop why because the queue dot size will vary at each for loop whenever the element is removed and whenever the element is added also so you have to keep the size separately so what are we doing here once we have got the size of the array list we will just remove each element from the array list and we will be adding the left and the right for those particular elements for example we added 20 and 30 to the queue there are just two elements for these two elements we will run the for loop and we will be adding 40 50 60 70 respectively and 20 and 30 will be added to the array list in this particular step so that is what we are doing in this particular for loop and we will just reverse because this is not just level order traversal this is zigzag level order traversal so we will be reversing if the level is odd then finally we will add it to the result and after this whole while loop we will be returning the result so what is the time complexity of this particular approach what are we doing we are just going for every node so the time complexity will be order of n what is the space complexity here what is the extra space that we are using here we are just using the queue and the queue at max can have n elements right it will not even have n elements it will have the elements maximum elements in one particular level so it will be the order of n so both time and space complexity will be the order of n so thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe